how can you tell that you're getting out with QRP? After all, HF is fairly forgiving, and even with a poor antenna, you can still get contacts. Signal reports are one guide, but they're not that accurate, especially during contests or quick DX contacts where they're invariably five and nine, even though they might ask for a repeat several times. I'll give a few tips. Especially on bands like 20 meters, the antenna that the other guy is using is a good guide. If all the stations you're working are using six element Yagis on 30 or 40 meter masts, then that must mean your signal is pretty weak and only the top stations can hear you. On the other hand though, if you're starting to work people with tri-banders, or better still, dipoles and verticals, then you know your signal must be fairly effective. Also gratifying, just after you finish a long haul DX contact, is if other stations from that part of the world also call you. A sure sign your first contact wasn't a fluke, and the DX feat can be repeated. Another tip is to call CQ. If your signal is buried in noise, few people will respond. If people come back to your CQ calls, then that's a sure sign that your signal is better than average for a QRP station. Then there's the reverse beacon network on CW. If you're not expecting to get people to come back to your calls, it's definitely worthwhile to put out a few. Because, you never know, a reverse beacon network station may be listening. I should point out though, that reverse beacon network stations vary in their sensitivity and local noise. There's a lot of times, for instance, that I've worked Europe or the States on QRP SSB, but I've put out calls on CW and none of the reverse beacon stations have picked me up. Though bear in mind that RBN receiving stations vary a lot in their local noise and receiving antenna. It may only be a dipole or vertical. There are a lot of times where I can get QRP DX contacts on SSB to Europe and America, but there are no reverse beacon network stations in those countries that pick up my signal if I call CQ on CW. Although I do find that nearer RBN stations, such as 3,000 kilometers away in New Zealand, are fairly reliable and can hear me just about any time I call on bands like 20 meters. Another clue is the strength of stations that you contact. If they're fairly strong, it must mean there's a good path or they're using good antennas. If they're fairly weak, you can try calling them, no harm trying, but you probably won't work them. But if your station is really effective, then you will start to work some of the weaker signals. Then there's two-way QRP contacts. That's pretty easy, over a thousand kilometers on 40 meters, or 3,000 kilometers on 20 meters and the higher bands. But over real DX, like 15 or 16,000 kilometers, then two-way QRP contacts are fairly rare, especially if both ends are using simple antennas. It's even more of a credit if they're using homebrew gear particularly regenerative or direct conversion receivers, whose sensitivity might not be so good. Another tip is if people ask about your antenna, another sign that you're doing well. The behavior of other stations counts. If they ask for a repeat, that's a sure sign that they're really struggling, even if they give you a 5-9 later on. And when you do call stations, always repeat your call sign. That's the only piece of information and the most important. Leave out stuff like whether you're QRP, your name or your QDH, until they've confirmed your call sign. But the best sign is if people don't believe you, especially if they interject and say you can't possibly be QRP. That must mean your signal is super strong. Definitely save that location and antenna for future QRP excursions.